What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in this video I'll be showing you how you can upload long workshop items or long guides to Steam. What exactly do I mean? Well, heading across to my profile, scrolling down, you can see that I have a workshop showcase currently as well as a guide showcase up here. Currently, these are using the default square images over here, but you can get them to use longer images as such, whether it's double, triple, or even more of the height available here. While this guide isn't going to go into creating these actual images, I'll be showing you how you can edit them and upload them so that they appear properly on Steam. Assuming you already have long GIFs as such, and you'd like to upload them, that's exactly what this guide will be covering. Simply head across to the first link in the description down below, which is the same place you'd upload artwork. You'll have to navigate here inside of a modern browser like Chrome or Firefox, not the Steam client. And on top of this, in a new tab, head across to hext.it or click the second link in the description down below. We're going to be modifying the actual GIFs themselves to make sure that they're uploaded and displayed properly. When you get here, simply click open file in the top left and navigate across to where your GIFs are located. Simply double click on the first one to open it up. Then using the slider over here, drag yourself all the way down to the very bottom of the page. Click right over here before the last plus. As such, this one is 3B currently. And once it's selected, simply type 2-1. Then hit save as at the very top left. And you can either save and replace the GIF you already have on your PC, or you can name it something new. I'll simply just click on it to replace it and then click save and yes, I want to replace it. Now simply rinse and repeat for every image you want to have displaying as long in either the workshop or guide showcase. Then once you've finished with all of those, head back to the artwork uploading page and copy one of the two lines of text from the description down below. Either you'll be copying the long workshop text or the long guide text, depending on what you want to use. I'll be uploading long workshop pictures down here. So I'll go ahead and copy that line. Then simply hit Control Shift I to open up the console and at the very top, head across to the console tab. If you're on Firefox, it should appear at the bottom. Simply paste in the line of text that you copied from the description down below and then hit enter. After doing this, you can close out of this window, but note you'll have to open it four more times or however many images you're going to upload. Then simply enter a title. I'll call it, say, one. Choose a file. Select the first GIF. Scroll down to the bottom. Certify that you created it and then click save and continue. After the upload finishes, you'll see something like this. Simply head back and refresh the page. We'll be doing the exact same thing for every other item. Console, paste, enter, give it a name, choose a file, tick the box and continue. Now, of course, do it again for all of the remaining images. And now, once you've finished all of your images, head back across to your profile and click edit next to one of the showcases you already have selected or click edit profile and head across to the featured showcase section. Then I'll scroll down and either add or find the workshop showcase and then I'll click on an image to replace it. Then all we have to do is simply select them in order. And there we go. Now that we've selected everything, simply scroll down to the bottom, click save, and now you can head back to your profile. When you're looking at your profile, scroll down and you should see them appearing nice and long as you expected in either the workshop showcase section or the guide section, depending on what you copied from the description down below. If you didn't copy and paste that line, it'd simply appear as a square and you wouldn't have something that looks like this. Of course, if they're out of sync, of course, if they're out of sync, simply hit F5 to refresh the page, scroll down and you should see the animation playing exactly as it is on your computer with all of them starting at the exact same time. But that's about it for this quick guide. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.